the real estate market in uh, all of the world, maybe North America, is on fire uh, more than it's ever been. Uh, Southwestern Ontario, you know, at or near the top of that in terms of how fast and, and competitive it is right now. And I think, you know, there's a few things, very obvious things that relate to that, the low interest rates, historically low interest rates. Um, the fact that obviously people are, are migrating out of the downtown core of Toronto and downtown cores of, of many cities out into more suburban life or, or even beyond that into more rural areas where they can have a more peaceful life maybe and work remotely. So those are huge factors at play. And that being said, we see in Toronto now and in Hamilton too, almost there's a uh, you know, the condo market's back and it's booming again because almost all, all of a sudden the, the condo market was kind of soft for a while because no, nobody wanted to live in the condo and be, be stuck inside. Uh, but now the value is there all of a sudden again because the, the, the values outside of the city have just gone through the roof and now people are seeing the condos and wow, it actually makes a lot of sense. It's, it's so much more uh, affordable all of a sudden. So it's, it, that's, that's kind of cycling as we go, but then um, you know, the biggest thing that has always been in Southwest Ontario is immigration. And, you know, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of great immigrants coming into our country every year. Uh, I think 75% plus land in the, in the Southwest Ontario area. And they're dispersing all over the place. And these are, these are high quality immigrants. So they're buying houses, whether it's right away or in the first few years of them being here, they're going and buying houses, buying properties, bringing money into the economy. And that's not going to change anytime soon because Look, there's still so much land available here and it's not fully utilized. I think that's one thing that that is a challenge as well. There's just, there's not land, there's the green belt around the Toronto area and, and so many of these things that are that are tough to overcome and why they're not making more land and they're not, not, not building homes fast enough either. You know, they're just, the supply is so low. Uh, it always has been low, but now with so much more buyer activity, it's, it's incredibly low. Um, you got a huge demand of buyers. And it is a, a crazy market if you're buying in, um, if you own property, which is why we believe strongly in investment in real estate. Is it's, it's no real sign of it's going down anytime soon, aside from possibly a little short increase in interest rates. But I think that's going to be marginal, and uh, and we're still going to get a big flow of immigration, whether it be you know this year 2021 or into 2022 and beyond. Especially once the borders open up again. We're going to be hit with a ton of immigration, and that's just going to lead to more surge in prices, demand, and um, owning real estate in, in southwestern Ontario is, is, is never going to be, if, not anytime soon, going to be a bad thing. So I think you know people need to get as much of it as they can, even though the prices seem out of control right now. It's still a very worthwhile investment, uh, and I foresee Toronto still growing like crazy over the coming years, and, and Hamilton and all of southwestern Ontario, and so. The di- and then you asked about the difference between maybe Vaughan or Hamilton and these markets. I think I think the really only area that has gone through a really kind of unique phase has been Toronto, like especially downtown Toronto with the, the you know outflow of people coming away from there. But that's coming back, I think, and I think that's definitely going to be um, rock and rolling again, maybe towards the end of this year, into 2022. And that's you know going to bring us in more sales in that area, the condo market back and all that. I, I think... Uh, I think Vaughan, Hamilton, you know, areas surrounding Toronto are are, are still going to boom. And, and once the immigration comes back at a high level, it's going to. I don't see any area really anywhere near southwestern Ontario that's going to suffer anytime soon. Um, time will tell. We don't have a crystal ball, but it's uh, it's a great great time to be in real estate, be owning real estate, and uh, just be watching your your investment in that grow. It's been a crazy crazy time, but a, a very 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 exciting time for anyone in real estate. London is probably, yeah, we, we moved into London in 2020. It's been, uh, that, that market is about as, as hot as anything. Uh, I would say it's because it's that next level beyond Hamilton, Kitchener, Waterloo, that, that, you know, within striking distance to commute to Toronto day to day. Um, London was always on the, the next level out, right? But, but it's the next level where it, it, it was a little bit cheaper going back a year. Um, that market has gone. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's gone. It's gone. It's been crazier than Hamilton and 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 most places around the Toronto area in terms of uh, percentage growth. Their average price was over six hundred thousand. Now it was. I don't have the number on hand. It was probably four hundred thousand, like a year or a little bit over a year ago. So it's gone up. You know, it's gone up upwards of fifty plus percent in, in a year. So it's been uh, a great great market to be getting into. Uh, that is a good timing probably for us. 
Um, that being said, for buyers trying to navigate these markets like London and others, it's uh, it's a very challenging market. And you know, if you really want to own real estate, you know, if, if you didn't buy last month, then you wait for this month. Like you got to get in as fast as you can because every month is another five percent that you're missing out on.